We have some pretty major updates about CM Punk ahead of AEW All Out in Chicago this weekend. I'm Umar Q for Real Take Wrestling. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. We are here, I am here, I should say, live in Chicago, Illinois, for AEW All Out. Of course, the big news, the big question, I should say, on everyone's mind is, is CM Punk going to be at the show in his hometown? Of course, All Out was an event that was supposed to be largely built around CM Punk, the real world championship we now know, according to a report from Fightful, that the original plan for this event was going to be Punk versus uh, Starks for the real world championship. That all changed last week at All In London when there was apparently an altercation between Jack Perry and CM Punk backstage. And we are learning a lot more information about what went down and what the future could hold for both superstars, wrestlers. There we go. Um, I'm just going to read off some some notes from the Wrestling Observer dot from WrestlingObserver.com. Excuse me. So Dave Meltzer, Wrestling Observer, of course, have a lot of knowledge about the situation. Apparently, here's the quote from Rest from the Wrestling Observer. One person said that many of the wrestlers think both Jack Perry and CM Punk were at fault, and the talent when the talent found out, they got more motivated to put on great matches, and it kind of brought everyone together, and Samoa Joe was a real leader. So, of course, Samoa Joe was the guy who allegedly broke up this brawl between Jack Perry and and CM Punk, and that's the good news, people view him as a leader, people were motivated to kind of take the attention away from the drama, and, and recapture the real spirit of what that day was supposed to be about, which was the biggest wrestling show in the world all in, okay, here's where it gets a little juicy, so this is according to Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer and Company, saying, and I quote, the version of the all-in incident that Jack Perry told people is that after his match, CM Punk came up to him with a lot of people around and said, quote, do we have a problem? Perry said no. Perry then said to Punk that he said stuff that got online about him in that line using the term Crimea River. Punk then <laughs> said words to the effect of, quote, you know I could F you up. He didn't say F. You know I could F you up at any time, right? He then pie-faced Jer uh, Perry and tried to put a guillotine on him and also threw punches while Perry grabbed CM Punk's arm to try to get him from locking in the move. Samoa Joe came in and quickly broke it up. Okay, so there's that part of it. Of course, this is Jack Perry's side. We know CM Punk's side, which was generally that, you know, Perry was the aggressor. In this, of course, Jack Perry's side is stating that Punk was the aggressor. We have some more here from Wrestling Observer, and it gets even juicier here because this involves Tony Khan. So, this is, again, Wrestling Observer Newsletter. According to eyewitnesses who is not a wrestler, their version of the CM Punk and Jack Perry incident was right after Perry came through the back, CM Punk went nose to nose with him aggressively and asked him if he had a problem. The CM Punk, of course, has kind of used that line allegedly multiple times. He used that same line with Nick Nemeth, or sorry, Ryan Nemeth, I should say. I could, could I'd only imagine what would happen if he used it with Nick Nemeth. Um, Perry then said that he was looking to get heat as a heel, Punk shoved him hard, Perry got in his face, Punk sucker punched him, and went for a choke. People immediately broke it up, and Tony Khan was yelling at CM Punk to let him go. And it goes on. Once they were separated, Punk lunged in Khan's direction, but a number of people got in his way while Punk was yelling, I quit. Monitors were knocked down during all of this. Samoa Joe was very upset and went on, and went to calm CM Punk. Okay. Again, allegedly, these are reports. These are coming from multiple sources. Of course, one thing that is clear is that not all of these stories are exactly the same. So, 
in some ways, people's perception may be clouding things. In other ways, people might just be straight up lying. But one thing is clear. There was an altercation. And this is leaving the news section behind. I am not a news... I'm not breaking news. I just talk about what Dave Meltzer, Sean Rossap, and all the others, ta- uh, you know, report. But it is very clear in this situation that there was an altercation between these two. And things got extremely heated. Things got very physical. And from any accounts of, of what we've heard, it warrants an investigation. Because you can't have what happened backstage allegedly in any way happen in your locker room if you're Tony Khan. You can't have that in the workplace. You just can't. And people want to say, well, that's professional wrestling. You know, people are should be allowed to fight. It's different. I'm like, no, it shouldn't be different. Because not it's not just wrestlers who work there. You have office people who work there. And, ha- and fostering an environment... I don't care whether the wrestlers are office people, in my opinion, but like fostering an environment where people who aren't wrestlers, who aren't fighters, who aren't trained like that, are have to walk on eggshells or are worried about fights breaking out backstage. You can't have that. It's not professional, and that was what all of this comes down to. Whether or not you like Jungle Boy or Jack Perry, whether or not you like CM Punk, one thing's for sure: they both acted unprofessionally. And. We could go into who's more at fault or whatever, but they both should have known better. And they both should have kept their egos in check. They both should have tried to de-escalate the situation instead of escalating it. That's clear. Now, as far as some of these reports go, it's clear also that these reports implicate CM Punk as aggressing the situation to the point where it got physical. Whether it's pie-facing or another source that said that he straight up, like, you know, sucker punched him. It, 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 given Punk's history, right, you're inclined to be like, well, he probably did that. He probably was the person who made this turn physical. Of course, that's not me saying that that's what happened, but I'm interpreting what we know so far. And what we know so far is that there was an altercation, that Jack Perry and CM Punk got into it, that Punk apparently put him in a headlock. That's no, no one's denying that at this point. And then we also know that Tony Khan and CM Punk shared words that weren't exactly kind. And Punk definitely said, I quit. Tony Khan, of course, this week uh, announced that there was going to be an investigation. It was also reported by Fightful that... Uh, Fightful MPW Torch, I should say, that both Jack Perry and CM Punk were suspended pending this investigation. And it's also worth noting that when asked about this on the media call for All Out earlier this week, Tony Khan basically said that he couldn't comment, but that they are working to resolve this issue. And whether or not CM Punk is going to be there, he said that I'm going to have an answer for you by All Out, which... It's coming up just less than two days away now. I'm going to be there. I'm not really expecting either Jack Perry or CM Punk to be there. It would be interesting if CM Punk was there, in my opinion, just because, like, let's be honest here. This is now the second time that we know of where things got very physical backstage with CM Punk. And for someone who is viewed as a locker room leader by many people it it doesn't help your case when you are involved in these fights and i'm not going to say punk started these fights but when you're involved in in this many altercations um in such a little amount of time that go that are so public that, that every, you know everyone's going to talk about you know that we're all going to come right here and talk about it so why put yourself in the situation even if you were instigated you're 44 years old. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Jack Perry's like a 20 something year old kid. You're 40 something years old. Like, it, it, it just. You expect more from CM Punk. That's what it comes down to. I expect more from CM Punk. That doesn't absolve Jack Perry for saying a line that he probably shouldn't have said. But it doesn't justify a fight taking place backstage. It doesn't justify, you know. Anything that happened that that could have put that pay-per-view, the biggest pay-per-view in AEW history, in jeopardy. And now it's put this pay-per-view in jeopardy because, like, I'm looking at the card here. Love all these performers. 
I I'm looking forward to John Moxley versus um versus Orange Cassidy for the international title. I'm looking forward to Chris Statlander versus Ruby Soho. But I'm looking at this card and I'm just like, eh, this genuinely might be one of AEW's weakest cards ever. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I will be there. I will firsthand find out one way or another whether Punk or Jack Perry is going to be there. I highly doubt it. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you're in Chicago for All Out, be sure to come over and say hi if you see me. Until next time, everyone, keep it real.